<laughs> what the hell? That made a lot of noise. What's going on guys? My name is Jack. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how we can take flat log footage like the footage you see behind me, whether that be S-log, V-log, I think there might be a C-log, I'm not too sure. Anyways, just flat log footage and actually color grade it to just be so much more cinematic, so much more dynamic and just get so much nicer colors out of this original flat log footage. Just basically how you can level up flat log footage to the next level. Um, without further ado, let's get into the video. All right guys, so go ahead and open up Premiere Pro and you guys can actually go ahead and go to the description down below and actually download two of my log shots that I'm gonna be working with. This first one is um, on S-Log, so that is the Sony uh, flat log picture profile. And then the second one is on V-Log, which is the Panasonic um, picture profile or uh, Panasonic flat mode, flat log type of uh, file format. And basically what these are is just a flatter type of, um, type of, type of color mode that just basically gives us more kind of uh, leverage, I suppose, when you're trying to pull out all these different colors because we can basically just kind of tweak stuff a little bit further than if everything was like uh, how it, you know, is going to look in a second where it's all been already graded and uh, has much more information about the color uh, already embedded there so we can't really tweak it too much. But with these flat profiles, we can kind of tweak the colors more to our liking and uh, overall we just have way more control over these two things. So download these if you want to work through this particular example with me. You can download these two shots in the description and we're gonna start off. Now both of these are shots that me and my homie Noah got at a club on the weekend. This one's off of my Sony a6300 and then this one here is off the Panasonic GH5. So two different cameras, two different flat log profiles and without further ado, let's jump into it. So I'm gonna actually start off with this log shot number one and I'm gonna go over to color and I'm actually just gonna start off with a curve. Now the curve I'm gonna start off is a basic S curve. A basic S curve is a very easy kind of strategy you can go for just to give kind of those um, kind of uh, immediate color changes or that immediate grade and I'll show you, you, you'll see in a second. So if you actually take this point here and just kind of bring that up a little bit just to amplify the light a bit and then just start doing this point here and bring it down here just so you kind of see it starts to create this S curve right here even though it's not the greatest S obviously but just doing a small tweak like this just starts to bring out the blacks and also amplify the whites as well. And overall, just start grading it a little bit more. And you could tell that by the fact that if you untick the curves already, you can see it's adding a lot more detail, uh, more kind of depth to this image. And you can tweak these uh, to your liking, essentially. I usually, for this particular white curve here, I usually just do a slight curve and then start amplifying everything more in the creative and basic uh, correction panels as well. But make yourself a little curve. You can also start um, exaggerating the other colors. For example, there's a lot of pink kind of red tones here so we could go over to the actual red and uh, we can even bring down some of those reds just to tone it down a bit or we could, you know, increase those if we wanted to, you know, bring them up a little bit and you can actually just start um, kind of toning that nicely by again just kind of creating a nice S curve. So we've amplified kind of the reds here but it's not spreading out and it's bringing kind of like a nicer tint here and if I give it a play overall this is looking pretty cool now. And uh, that red's looking pretty amplified. Again, if we wanted to undo that, we could just straight undo that and uh, start tweaking another color. For example, the greens, but there's not much green there. There is some blue here. So we could again, you know, start bringing that up if we wanted it up, which is starting to make it purpley or kind of start bringing it down if we wanted to edge it a little bit more towards kind of like a warmer feel. But overall that stuff is, uh, is, is dependent on your clip. So for this clip, I'm probably gonna leave all this stuff here. I might just bring the reds down a little bit just so we get kind of a little bit cooler of a tone opposed to that kind of red where how it was before like here, which is a little bit overpowering. So I'm gonna bring that down a bit, but there's no set kind of thing. You know what I mean? There's no set correction on the RGB curves here. It's just whatever starts looking nice. But a good rule of thumb is to create yourself a basic S curve, which is gonna give you a nice rough grade off the, uh, you know, off the bat right away. And then you can kind of go a little bit more in depth, start tweaking stuff. But Boom. I'm going to start off with just an S curve, start giving that a play. And um, flat log pr picture profiles, one of the main things they tone down is obviously all the colors because it's just very flat. So the vibrance, I'm always going to be trying to bring up to at least about 50. So if we actually turn that off, you can see not the biggest change, but somewhere I see a change is this jacket right here. So you can pay attention to that jacket when it's off. And then when it's on, instantly it's adding just a little bit more color to this whole situation. And this is a pretty cool clip because you've got all this confetti 
kind of blowing out of the air, which is all pretty colorful now, especially if you see here. Um, if we start bringing, oh yeah, look at that. So we can actually notice that that smoke right there is just regular white smoke. But if you actually start toning up this particular um, this particular vibrance and actually start bringing it a little bit more towards 100, you can notice those colors amplifying so much more where down here it's just kind of gray and white and we start bringing it over and instantly we're seeing more purples there. All of that's popping way more and overall all these people down here that have color attached to them, for example, a pink shirt here, all those colors are also popping just way more. Now if we start giving this a play, instantly this is looking so much crazier and, uh, and, and just so much more colorful, so much more popping right here and overall it's looking looking really nice and that confetti is actually is actually really nice um, part of this right here uh, with the strobe light going and everything as well but overall that's starting to really take shape whereas if you actually go over here to our effect controls and we untick the lumetri color that's what it was before a much flatter video definitely le way less depth to it uh, just looks much flatter much more kind of simple and then we could actually turn on the lumetri color and give it a play and uh, now it's looking much more dynamic much more cinematic as well and uh, you know it's just starting to take shape so much more and we can actually go over to the basic corrections and just start taking certain things up a bit so for example this is kind of a little bit dark still so we could even bring the lights up to about 50 maybe bring the shadows up a little bit but the more you kind of tweak this stuff to make it lighter the more grain you might see in it so um, one thing I probably wouldn't mess with is the exposure for example if we turn that all the way up it just loses quality. Look at that chick's head now. At the back of the DJ's head, it's pixels everywhere. Like, it's crazy. So, opacity, I mean, opacity, what am I talking about? Exposure, I wouldn't really mess with that too much. But the shadows, you can turn up a bit. The whites turn up a bit. And the highlights are pretty nice as well. They just kind of give you that, that extra kind of like glow. So, anything that's already gl glowing a little bit, you can highlight that. But likewise, if it was too glowy, you could, you know, tone it down. But that's not really the approach we're looking for here. And boom, we've just made this scene a much lighter than it was before. It was a pretty dark scene. And you see it's just kind of stacking up all these little effects on top of each other, on top of each other, on top of each other. A nice basic correction, a nice mess around with a creative right here where you could do some stuff like the fade to film, etc., like that. But the fade to film kind of just starts doing the opposite effect where, where it kind of just changes it back to that kind of flat profile. However, like a nice 5%, maybe 10% fade to film can be nice just to give it a little bit of a kind of like filmy kind of look I suppose but overall this right here is going crazy and it's pretty hard to believe that if we actually go back here this is the first frame if we turn it off that's what it was before and we can give it a play very flat very flat uh, you can't really kind of focus in on too much here when it's flat not much going on but boom as soon as we turn this on it is <laughs> so much more dynamic you're, you're I'm, I'm kind of tripping out personally this this looks absolutely crazy but Boom, that is the S-Log file that I imported here for you guys to download. If you guys edited along with me and downloaded that clip, you have literally the exact same example with me. Congratulations, hell yeah, we're in this together. We can now move on to the V-Log, which is gonna be a very similar process, except this camera is just better. This is my friend's camera, Noah. He's got the GH5, so he's got a really nice lens and also the camera's better than mine. So this footage right here is flat log, but it's in slow-mo and also it's nicer quality and a little bit more focused than this shot here. So it's a nicer shot to actually move on to. Now you've kind of got the idea of it while we work through that first shot. So we're gonna come over to here to the second shot, go to the curves. Again, we can start by dragging the shadows out on this one because this looks really flat. Just to actually start, just bring it some, some, some actual, um, what's it called? Uh, texture there or whatever. I, I, I can't think of the right word, but Boom, I'm now gonna bring up the whites. So we actually start making this look like real colors and we're creating a proper S curve here. If we turn that off, this particular V-log right here has done a massive change. So that's what it was before. That's what it is right now. If we give this a play, this has obviously been, you know, turned so much more cinematic. You can see it's like a sea of different people here and uh, it's, it's definitely going pretty crazy and that's only just off of creating a pretty basic S curve. And this one definitely looks like more of a more of a um, more of an amplified S curve than the than the one on my last um, uh, S log footage did. But boom, we've done that. Then we want to go to creative again, bring the vibrance up to a good 50, maybe even more again, probably like 77. Yeah, screw it. Because look, you can see you really want to bring those colors out. And if you're using V log S log, I think there's C log as well. I don't know. If you're using any type of log footage, 
you want to be bringing the vibrance up loads because it really does tone down all those colors just to make it so flat. Um, but you got to take advantage of these flat log profiles if your camera does it and be shooting on this because you can turn these colors into so much more than you could if you were just shooting on like a normal picture profile. Um, again, what I could probably do is turn the fade to film up a little bit, but I'm not the biggest fan of the fade to film. And this is again looking a little bit dark, so I probably want to be bringing up the whites, maybe bringing the blacks down a little bit, just a little bit, shadows up a bit, the highlights up a bit as well, and uh, maybe start bringing the contrast up a little bit as well. And now if we give a play to this, this is looking pretty crazy. You can see the confetti a little bit there. Everybody's jumping around, everybody's going crazy. Overall, it's looking very cool. Definitely there's some grain to it. That's definitely because we've, uh, we've, we've brought up all the whites and the shadows and everything a little bit, a little bit too much maybe. And it was already a pretty light image, so maybe some bits are a little bit overexposed. But overall, this is looking pretty nice. And we have successfully achieved co color correcting or color grading flat log footage, whether it be S-Log, like this footage here off the Sony a6300, or it's V-Log, like this next footage here, which is off the Panasonic GH5. Boom. If you guys enjoyed the video today, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff for more video production themed videos every single week here on my channel. I've been Jack. Have a nice day and goodbye.